This is day four of actually hiking. Um, but, so instead of blisters, I ended up with tendonitis. creek because I'm going to wash some clothes, get some water, and I'm here for first aid. So a lot of people are getting blisters and stuff and I was really happy that I haven't gotten blisters yet. And So instead of blisters, I ended up with tendonitis, the beginnings of it. I don't know if you can really see very good. So this ankle, see how it's really thin and narrow? So this guy, more thick and like this bulge right here, definitely the beginnings of tendonitis. Yeah. So it's like my Achilles tendon. Um, so anyway, not blisters, but so I'm sitting here at this little stream. I don't have any ice, and I'm gonna soak it. So this is called Wilderness First Aid <laughs> for tendonitis. And oh my god, it feels as cold as freaking ice. And uh, yeah, check out that amazing tan line there from uh, yoga pants, like Capri Link yoga pants. That's great. Yeah, got it on both, but this one's definitely the worst. So I don't usually burn, but I guess um, 32 hours of sun and one week will definitely do it to you. But uh, so I've been putting on sunscreen and everything. Anyway, we're camping out tonight. Um, I'm using my hammock and I think it's supposed to rain. So this will be the first time I actually get to test the uh, tarp and some rain. So I'll let you know how it turns out. But... <laughs> that is my abode. And what are you having for dinner tonight, ma'am? Um, I'm having roasted garlic and Parmesan baby reds with meat. Nice. Mm -hmm. A little protein and yes. you? I'm licking the pan. <laughs> Air. Like, so like the movie right. Hook. Right. Like the movie right. Hook. Right. She's seeing her. I'll get else. some ramen going. Gotcha. Put in my hand. And what kind of contraption is this? What is this called? Is this a homemade device? No, I literally, my uncle gave it to me. Nice. It like the day before I left. He's like, here you go. Put it together. And does it burn like heat, like uh, yeah, alcohol? Like, there's like a little butane. What have you done? <laughs> Hold on, this is... <laughs> he tried to undo someone else's... So what exactly is... I'm embarrassed. No, what happened? They were aiming for this. I don't know what tree they're aiming no, for. No, see what happened. We got our hook up there. We're going to throw... We we're going to get it around that branch up there. And then I was trying to like... So because it got like... I got it over the thing. But it got over the branch, but it didn't like drop down. So I was trying to like whip it down. And it got wedged in between that like the orange line there and uh -huh. that branch. And no matter how hard I pulled, it wasn't coming down. And I don't so want he's to gonna it. climb it and yeah, well, he's gonna try again. He just saw a spider on there. I almost fell off the tree. Don't freak it off. A spider? You're climbing a tree and you're afraid of spiders. Come so on, I'm scared of spiders. You're a hobbit. You are. Look at him. Oh my god, see that's how a bear is going to get up there and <laughs> yeah, get our food. If Davy can do it, a bear can do it. <laughs> Davy, in his natural habitat. Yeah, right. Don't make him laugh, y'all. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a fall, yeah. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. Yeah, I about knocked my teeth out with the rock. Yeah, the rock, rock. Just came back in here. <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <that's> awesome. <laughs> 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 oh, there you go, Davey. You got sacked in the face. Literally sacked. Oh, my God. Walls. Yeah. Walls. Walls. That's what it's doing. This is impressive. I have never in my life seen <laughs> I'm, I'm, I didn't God, know Oh, bless your heart. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Like, I... <laughs> I, I, I was unaware of this tail. 
Wow. I'm so wildly impressed. Wow. Multiple reasons. Look at him save oh, the day. He goes on kicking down. Don't, no, don't do the fireman pole. You will see. Your legs. Oh, God, I can't look. Oh, God. That met the night before, but there were only six here. And the surprising thing about that night is clouds were all around the mountain, and you could almost hear the rain in every other spot around the mountain but this place. Good morning. Trying to beat the rain out. Pack up my stuff. Heading to um, Neil's cap first stop. And I have a chapped nose. Wish us luck. So we are here at the cabin in Neil's Gap and we have fish strode for days, hanging out with cool peoples, <laughs> catching up Crazy on social party. media and elevator, <laughs> elevator music, <laughs> and some pizza that there were three and we totally tore them up, fixing gear, cleaning it up. <laughs> Stretches, laundry has been done. This cabin is like Christmas. Good morning. I am here in Neil's Gap at a cabin. I ended up getting to room with uh, three other girls that I've been hiking with. And we got to clean our gear and rest up and eat a good frozen pizza. We're all looking forward to like a big steak and a huge glass of beer, but we were so thankful for the frozen pizza and the yoo-hoos. So anyway, um, the first week has been good. Uh, the first night I ended up hiking up, well, I hiked the perch trail and ended up staying in the um, Springer Mountain Shelter. And I met a few cool people there and um, I got there a little later than I wanted to so it's getting close to dark um, but I wanted to go ahead and make it because I knew it would be raining on Monday and then the view from Springer just wouldn't be as pretty so um, God I went ahead and pushed through uh, those stairs at Amicalola they will kill you kill you they're rough when you're not used to a heavy pack on your back and 60 million stairs so uh, but yeah, the first night in Springer, I ended up staying in the shelter instead of the hammock because I knew it was going to rain and I didn't want to be cold and wet my first night. <laughs> so anyway, um, it was, it was not bad. I had the loft up there, um, and a storm came through, uh, shook everything pretty good. There was some lightning, some thunder, but it was really kind of neat. Uh, had a mouse run across the back of uh, my sleeping bag. I felt it kind of flutter across my back. Um, but I was thankful to be warm and dry. Uh, I was kind of thinking like, <laughs> what have I gotten myself into, you know? Um, kind of worried, you know, uh, if I could do it or not, you know? And those thoughts of doubt, you know, crossed my mind, but I kept pushing through. And every day it's gotten so much easier. I've met great people. Um, there's a girl that I've been hiking with every day. Her name's Kelly, and she is working on a trail name. Uh, mine ended up being Dixie, so uh, I guess my southernness sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> I've had a few nights of staying uh, either in the shelter or in the hammock. Um, it hasn't rained on me in my hammock at night yet, so I'm interested to see how that's going to work out uh, with my homemade tarp. Which I will, if it works out good, then I will give you all the instructions and everything on how to make one of those if you're ever interested in hammock camping. Um, but today, uh, I'm going to go up here to the Mountain Crossing store and I'm going to talk to them about getting some trail runners. I was planning on doing that anyway, but I'm developing some kind of tendonitis in my Achilles on my right foot and uh, it's not too painful right now but I don't want it to get that way so I'm trying to nip it in the bud um, I've been soaking it in streams and uh, I iced it last night while we were here but so I think I may go ahead and ship my boots home and get some trail runners and I've got a package that 
I uh, sent to myself sitting up there with some good food in it and uh, so pretty good spirits uh, I'm really excited um, the next few days is supposed to be nice then rain following that so uh, if I have severe problems with the hammock I might swap to tent the next trail town we come to but um, for now I'm gonna go ahead and focus on trail runners if anyone has any specific questions about what's going on out here or anything like that um, let me know be happy to answer them and I love you guys and my family and all my friends and thank you Frank for all your help and everything and preparing the meals and stuff they have been tasty so anyway we will talk to y'all later